Hello, happy Friday. I'm Mary Ryerholm and I am the handbell director here at First Lutheran Church. Currently, we have one adult handbell choir and two youth handbell choirs, one for grades five through eight and one for high school, grades nine through 12. Like everything else, our groups were shut down last March 13th. We had music prepared for Lent and planned out to May 5th. Now, after living with the coronavirus for five months, can we begin to ring again? What would handbell ringing even look like? Well, the outlook for handbell ringing is much more positive than for choirs or instrumentalists. According to the CDC, the virus is spread by droplets and aerosols from the mouth and nose, marking activities such as singing and playing wind instruments as high risk for spreading the virus. But with handbell ringing, our mouths are closed and we just breathe. Besides the director, there is really little need even for talking. The Handbell Musicians of America has a membership of directors, composers, and ringers from all over the country. They have issued guidelines for groups to use to keep our ringers as safe as possible while playing during this pandemic. They have followed CDC guidelines. These guidelines are wash and disinfect hands before and after playing, wear a mask at all times, maintain social distancing of six feet away from other ringers. There is to be no shared bells, music, mallets, or chimes. Gloves are to be taken home and washed between rehearsals. Bells, chimes, and mallets are to be wiped down after each rehearsal using disinfectant wipes. Rehearse in the largest space possible, or even outdoors. Consider ringing in smaller groups to reduce the chance of infection. Shorten rehearsals to 35 to 45 minutes. Here at First Lutheran, we are fortunate that with the space and equipment we have, we can follow every one of these guidelines. We will rehearse in the balcony instead of in our smaller rehearsal room downstairs. Each ringer will have their own station with their own music, bells, chimes, etc. We have enough equipment that no one has to share anything. If needed, we could add a third row in the balcony and ring all three octaves, socially distancing. We would follow these guidelines every time we play. We also have the option to play using smaller groups. Composers have been busy since March, writing and arranging music for just four to eight ringers instead of our usual 11 to 13. New music has come out at all levels for solo ringing, either from the table or using the bell tree with mallets. So this can be an opportunity for us to learn some new skills. So to conclude, I'm happy to say that we will have handbell music here at First Lutheran. I can't wait to start. It will feel so good to be back here and fill this space once again with music. Hope to see you all soon.